A sigh of relief on the front lines of Canada's aerospace industry. Few had predicted Bombardier would see a day like this. It's a great victory for us, and it's a victory for innovation, for competition, and I want to thank everybody that supported us in this. While the government is also pleased, it's not yet ready to celebrate. This decision, however, by the four U.S. Trade Commissioners, unanimous, is not the final stage in this process. It can still go up to an international tribunal and then, of course, eventually end up at the Supreme Court of the United States, so there's still more steps to go. We'll see. The initial trade win comes as Canada and Mexico continue to battle it out with the U.S. at the NAFTA negotiating table. Some watching the talks hope the ruling sends a message to Donald Trump and his negotiators. So this is really about Trump, his bullying tactics, pushing Canada around. Same thing that's going on in the softwood lumber dispute. Same thing that's going on in this hotel right now with NAFTA. Trump delivered more ambiguous messages today about NAFTA at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. Will it be renegotiated? We're trying right now with Bob Lighthizer and the whole group. I think we have a good chance, but we'll see what happens. But business leaders who met in Montreal to discuss the talks appear somewhat optimistic about progress in this round, after Canada presented a series of compromises on the biggest challenges at the table. I think it would be premature to say that anybody is buying anything in, into anything at this point, but I think what there is is at least discussion taking place in all of these areas that proposals aren't being rejected out of hand. Progress may seem slow here in Montreal, but there's enough momentum that insiders are now starting to talk about adding new rounds of negotiations. If extra talks are added, it would be a sign that discussions are headed in a positive direction. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Montreal. Some thought Donald Trump was going to Davos to chastise the gathering of global-minded leaders. Instead, today, he seemed to charm them. Trump's speech, the first from a U.S. president at the World Economic Forum in 18 years, softened the America First rhetoric of his stateside rallies. America first does not mean America alone. When the United States grows, so does the world. But he didn't get much fire and fury from the Davos crowd. The Saudis held a reception in his honor. European executives lavished him with attention.